What's up everyone, this is Phoenix from Phoenix TV, here with another episode of Bird's Brain on You Don't Know Jack 2015, the show that knows exactly what it's made of. This is episode three, something, something, something or another, we'll find out in a second. Hi, I'm Cookie Masterson, and whenever I see an attractive woman, I make this sound. <laughs> <laughs> Love this game. Couldn't get anyone to join you, huh? Yeah, I know how you feel. Tell me about it. And your wrong answer of the game is being sponsored by... Slightly used balloons. The more these balloons deflate, the more your wallet inflates. Try to choose the wrong answer brought to you by our sponsor to get prizes and cash. <laughs> All right, here we go. First on the docket, Mexican do attitude. Mexican do attitude. All right. What dish could Porky Pig order at a Mexican restaurant without committing ca 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 Great idea. Give spicy Mexican food to someone who doesn't wear pants. Did uh did not know that. And now hmm. Mark TV, and it's a dis or dat. <laughs> These tis or dats are getting earlier. I'm gonna read off seven names, and for each one, tell me if it's a sales department on Walmart.com, an MTV show, or both. If it's a Walmart right. Department, press the X button. If it's on MTV, press the B button. If it's both, press A. Cool, let's do it. That's a diss dad or the other. Bags. Bags. Wow. Cribs. Both. Mugs. Skins. Juniors. Cubies. Wow. Tools. You're a tool. That's tough. Surprisingly, very tough. Walmart doesn't have a jackass department, though. Officially. But I made it back into the green, so, you know. Here's that. Here's a good one. Just want to check in. Hey, how do you feel? With the pharynx? With the thoracic cavity? With the pulmonary veins? Or with the thalamus? The... Okay, nurse. Um. Uh, no. Dang. Want to see the right answer? God Located dang. just above the brain stem, the thalamus acts as the relay station. I was thinking of like touch stuff. I couldn't like think what the pharynx was. So yeah. now the thalamus That's is fine. the emotions. That's fine. how I'm feeling. I asked you how you feel, but whatever. Sure, it's it's also awesome <sighs> with my thalamus, but it's just common decency to reciprocate. <laughs> Rough week. This one's known as For Whom the Dinner Bell Tolls. Okay. Ooh, it's almost time for my dinner. Better have this fortune cookie first, as prescribed by my doctor. Cookie, fortune, cookie, fortune, cookie, fortune, cookie, messes with. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Not bad. Let's see what my fortune says. Laughter is the best medicine. Hmm. Okay. If that's true, which character from the nursery rhyme Hey Diddle Diddle is the healthiest? The cat, the little dog, the cow, or the spoon? The little cow. Little dog laugh. In the Mother Goose nursery rhyme Hey Diddle Diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the little dog is the one that laughs at all the crazy stuff going on. Yeah. This was Go pretty YouTube, rhymes. you understand, so if somebody told you a dog laughed, you just had to take them at their word. Hmm. Here we have, I've had intimate thoughts about Adam. All right. Which of these people is B.I. curious? Be Someone I. interested in sexually experimenting with barium? Someone looking to explore uh. with bromine? Someone flirting with... A chemical symbol for bismuth is B.I. 
But as a society, we shouldn't put labels on things like this, except chemicals. You should label chemicals so you don't like blow yourself up. Bariums like Unless bee. that's what you're into. I don't well, know for sure what bromine is, but is not some BI a single's natural fit? So. That's the end of a thrilling first round, and you haven't even broken a sweat. Remember, in round two, every question is worth double. Yay. And lest you forget, big cash Slightly prizes can be yours if you find the wrong answer of the game. Let's move on, shall we? Slightly used balloons. This one's called Spit Up or Shut Up. Wonderful. If Lady Gaga changed her name to the most common first word spoken by babies, mm. what would she be called? Dada. Lady No, Lady D According to a poll performed by YouGov, Dada or Daddy was by far Dada the most popular is more common first because word spoken mama by babies, is much harder beating to make. out Mama or Mommy by a considerable margin. Yep. Lady Dada is a good name, right? Please just say yes, because that's the name of the screenplay I wrote for Adam Sandler. Open wide for childhood murmuries. Alright. It looks like we have Art a issues. sort of treat today. My good acquaintance, old man, somehow found his way into the studio again. How's it going, old man? Ah, terrible, Mr. Shapiro. Yeah, it's uh, Mr. Masterson, actually. Since when? Since birth. I know we're on Earth. <sighs> Anywho, I need your help remembering something. What's that thing? Who's that fella? Where's that screwy up do to do? It's Foggy Facts with Old Man. Speaking screwy up do, I forget. <laughs> <laughs> so, what is it you're trying to remember, old man? Well, it's something I used to do when I was just a lad. Uh, not sure the history books go back that far, but I'll see if I can help. Why don't you describe it to me? Sure thing, Nate. It's a game. game. British kids like to play it, I think. You get three strikes per turn. Cricket. And seeds are involved somehow. Mm. What is that game? Whippy, uh, Conkers, Queenie Queenie, Marbles, or Five Conkers? Are you thinking of Conkers, old man? Hey, Conkers, yeah! And it's an old British kids game I used to play. <laughs> Each player has one of these seeds called a Conker, and they take turns whacking at them. Three whacks go. per turn. Why is that fun? <laughs> Boom. It's hard to imagine you as a little kid, old man. Well, I look pretty much the same, mine is the liver spots. Didn't start growing those till my early 20s. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and when did you start smelling like liver? Hmm, that depends. When was liver invented? <laughs> Here's one I like to call, All Rise for the Honorable Dinwoody Fudnuddler. Fantastic. If trees brought a class action lawsuit against lumberjacks, which oh, that would, that's character, the Lorax. would they most likely hire as their legal Almost counsel? Almost absolutely the, the Lorax. Cat in the Hat, the Grinch, yep. the Lorax speaks for the trees. And in a lawsuit, the legal counsel speaks for its client, in this case, the trees. Yep. <laughs> It makes sense pretty good movie. Lorax would be a lawyer. He always Don't remember the book. The movie was pretty good. But the worst part about it was only like an hour long. It's time for... There's a question in my pants and you're all invited. Alright. It's the book of choices into order then buzz in and see if you are right. Question! Alright. Okay, as usual, if you get this correct, there's a little extra in it for you. Speaking of extra... Put these underwear styles in order from least butt cheek uh, revealing uh, to uh. most butt cheek revealing. All right. Thong, bikini, tonga. Bikini, Tonga's tonga, tough. thong, tonga, thong, bikini, thong, bikini, tonga, or tonga, bikini, thong. Mm, I, I don't know what the tonga is. Oh, you're gonna kick yourself. Bikini style underwear cover the butt cheeks more than Tonga style, and Tonga style cover more than thong, which leave your butt cheeks pretty oh, much I had all that out there. Dang. But really, any style that doesn't expose my vestigial tail works fine for me. I wouldn't have got it right at all, because I would have them backward. Dang. How right. about feeling fines? 
I love that actor from Schindler's List and The English Patient. You know, the one who plays Voldemort. But I'm never certain hmm. if I'm pronouncing his name correctly. What's the proper way to say that Mr. Fines has to throw up? Right. Ralph has to Ralph, Reef has to Ralph, Rolf has to Ralph, or Rafe has to Ralph? Oh god. Um. Whoa! Oh, that was nice. Correct answer, show yourself. Yep, Rafe Fines' first name is spelled like Ralph, but pronounced Rafe. <laughs> They're all and the his same. Brother, Joseph Fines <laughs> is pronounced Joseph, no, that... but it's spelled L E S S F A M O U S. Never say it. So. It's a weird British thing. <laughs> Step right up to the jack attack. Look, when you see two who doesn't know how to play match, the jack attack, press your A button. Two thousand if you're right. But if you're wrong, you lose 2,000. And don't forget... Remember the clue! It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. I love you like a legal guardian. A I hope you know guardian. who it's out for or just took care of who. Ooh! Orphan Annie, who was... who was, uh... Not Jean Valjean. Warbucks. Superman was with his parents, who were the Kents. Why did another name? <laughs> Harry Potter, they're the, the Thursleys. Come on. Cosette. I don't know. In an attempt to maintain my, uh, my money, I'm not going to guess at everyone. I don't know who was the legal guardian of Cosette. Probably Jean Valjean. If I had to guess, possibly, probably not. Dorothy. That'd be Antium. Unless it's somehow our uncle. It was a person. Antium, I knew this I knew that would be a good one. Matilda. Who had Matilda? She was in it, but I don't think that was the person. I never saw it. It's like, no, the... She's the telekinetic kid. Telepathic? But I don't know who her parents were. Or mother or something. Dexter. As in his parents, like from the laboratory? Hmm. Okay. Or is it Dexter the serial killer? Either way, I don't know. That sucks. Not great, but that is a positive round. 16,000 is not bad. Vote. I actually adopted a child recently. Uh, thank you. I'd have him introduce himself, but I sent him out to get coffee. Hmm. It's taking him a long time. Even for a two-year-old. You don't know Jack! Alright, that's been episode... Three. Yeah, three. This is a... It's been a phoenix. With Phoenix TV and Bird's Brain. Tune in next week for me to look stupid again. And hey, uh, Jerry, like, subscribe, comment. Oh, yeah. Tell me how dumb I am. Garden. And uh, thanks for watching.